Do you actually need 50 items for spring summer? Do you need 50 items for spring summer? Yes. Yes, you do. Today I'm going to share my spring shopping list. It's, it's an exhaustive and maybe exhausting, but exhaustive spring and summer shopping list with 50 items that we need for spring and summer. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my whole goal is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that makes you look and feel beautiful. A wardrobe that works for you, a style that serves your life, and also to make it simple. So my name is Netta. I am a personal stylist. I do videos here on YouTube for women over 40. And I'm also the founder of the Ageless Style Program, where I have cheered over 5,000 women on to everyday, simple, elegant style that serves their lives and that helps them show up in their best way every single day. So very excited about today's video because I think it's just going to be a fun one. Now, it was tongue in cheek, obviously, my intro where I was talking about like, you need 50 items, you need 50 items. You don't need 50 items, but these are fun, fabulous, and um, versatile spring pieces that I think if you're like, what do I buy for spring? I want a little bit of a refresh in my wardrobe. Maybe, maybe you feel like you need a new dress, or maybe you feel like you need a couple of pretty new tops, or you need a new jacket or you need um, a, a new pair of shoes or a couple of new accessories. And there are a couple of things that are on your wish list. Um, and it's kind of vaguely out there and in the back of your mind, like, yeah, I could use a couple of new pieces of jewelry or yeah, I could use a new shoe or two or 12. Um, and then this is going to give you some guidance on what those items can be, right? Like what are the dresses to buy this season or what are the tops to buy this season? What are the pieces that I think are going to look really modern and cool and interesting this these season? this season, but also most of these are going to transcend the, the next couple of seasons are, and are going to become go-tos and pieces that you, you have in your wardrobe and can use for a long time to come. So let's get started. I've got a lot to cover and I'm really excited. 50 things you need for spring. Okay. The first thing is a straw bag, straw tote, like a big straw tote. You need it for the beach. You need it for running around town. You need it for running around the city. You need it if you're going to Paris. It is pretty much the law that in order to enter Paris, you need a pennier, you need a straw bag. I love this one. This is, I just think it's beautiful. This is from Tucker Neck um, and it's got a little bit of brown leather trim. So again, if you don't like a straw bag, you're wrong. <laughs> You just need to get one. You just need to get one, and I promise you, you're gonna fall in love with it. Now, you also need a little straw purse, like clutch or a crossbody. Um, you can also choose a light neutral if you really, really are resisting me and fighting me on the straw. You could do a light neutral instead, but you need a little light neutral bag for summer that you can take out to dinner, but you can also maybe carry around during the day. This one is really, really nice and really practical. It's from Demelier, and again, I think this one's available on Tucker Neck. You need a pair of platform sandals this season, and again, need. I use that word very, very loosely, but a platform sandal is really all the comfort, like in my comfort shoe video, all the comfort brands have come out with platform sandals because they are really, they give you a lot more support and a lot more protection from the pavement, um, but they're also very, very cool. Now, these are not going to give anyone any support, but they're just beautiful. They're from Castanier. Uh, 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 and they're straw. Of course, of course. It's going to be a recurring theme throughout this video. Okay, you need a pair of espadrilles. And for those of you who don't like the ankle strap on espadrilles, either don't find it flattering or don't find it comfortable, um, these are from Fiscata. This is my favorite espadrille brand. And these are a great pair of like kind of sandal espadrilles that don't have a strap around the ankle. You also need a pair of flat slide sandals or flat slide shoes for summer. Um, I've been recommending the Sam Edelman Bays for a really, really long time. They come in every single color. Um, Amazon actually has um, a version of them. They are both really, really comfortable and they're both loosely a dupe on the Hermes Aura sandal. I actually have a client that just bought the Hermes sandal and returned it because she didn't find it comfortable at all and bought the Sam Edelman Bay ones and she is keeping the Sam Edelmans over the Hermes. So it's not just a budget thing. Um, really, the Sam Edelman Bay sandals are the gold standard right now, and everyone finds them really, really comfortable. Okay, so a pair of flat slides like that. And you also want a printed, fun printed romantic dress for spring, summer. This is a dress that will take you to church and to Mother's Day and to brunches and to even weddings and just all the events. I love this one. This is from Anthropology. It's called the Katerina Button Front Dress, and I just think it's beautiful. I think the print is beautiful. The style is beautiful. I think every woman deserves a printed dress like this in her wardrobe. You know I'm not going to do a list like this 
without having a white lacy blouse. I have about 774 of them in my wardrobe, but I feel like a, a feminine white lacy blouse, a blouse with some embroidery or cut work or eyelet or lace is such a summertime and springtime essential. It's a beautiful way to dress up jeans and shorts, but also looks beautiful with skirts. It's just, to me, it's a classic piece. I also think every woman deserves a flowy skirt in her closet for spring. And so this one is a striped one. This is from um, Marine Lair, and I think it's beautiful. Um, you can do a white, like I think the most obvious choice is to do a white linen or white uh, gauze flowy skirt. You can pull this on over a bathing suit. You can wear it with a tee and, and those Sam Edelman base sandals and wear it out to dinner. Like there's just a lot of different ways to style a skirt like this, and I love it. I just chose it in the pink stripe because why not? Um, okay, also you want a casual dress for spring, summer. This is a really pretty one from um, Sam Edelman. This is no, Steve Madden. Sorry, I always get them mixed up. Steve Madden. This is a very, very affordable dress. It comes in, it's under $40. It comes in a million different colors. And I love this dress. I think it's a very easy dress to wear. It's really comfortable. It is, pro, it might be bra strap friendly, depending on your bra straps. But this is just, a, this is a great casual running around summer dress that you can also dress up a little bit. You also want a really pretty printed blouse for spring, summer. I think that's an essential. Like you want the printed dress, you want the printed blouse. You want a really pretty blouse that you can wear, again, with jeans with shorts, with whatever, and it'll kind of elevate what you're wearing. And you want it to be in a modern, cool print that absolutely speaks to your personal style and that you love. I've done lots of videos on prints and also I'll have a lot of versions of these in, um, in this catalog that is linked in the description box. All of these items are gonna be numbered and are going to be linked in this description box. So in the description box by number. So it'll be easy for you to find since I'm covering so much in today's video. Um, okay, also, I feel like everyone needs a two-piece set this season. Um, a linen two-piece set is kind of where it's at, as far as I'm concerned. This is a really cool, um, this is the, like loose pants and a top. I believe these are from H&M. Um, just cool, easy, like two-piece set that it, it always looks coordinated. I traveled like crazy in my black linen two-piece set last summer. It's a shirt and pants similar to this, and I love it and wore it on repeat. It just looks elevated because they, they match and they look like an outfit, um, and it's just a, a, a great spring and summertime essential. Of course, you can wear the pieces separately and together. You want a great pair of flattering and comfortable jeans for summer, um, and if you feel like jeans are not a summertime friendly um, staple, consider a wide leg jean in a, in a lighter material. Madewell sometimes will have like airy jeans, like jeans that are not hot, um, but you want like a wide leg jean if you're looking for a slightly cooler jean for spring, summer. I love these. These are from um, uh, your favorite daughter and I think they're just so beautiful and so flattering. You also need a special event dress for summer. You want something you can wear to weddings or cocktail parties or any events that come up this season. I think this one is so stunning. It is from Badgley Mishka, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dress. You want a cropped jacket for summer. This one is from Quince. It's cropped a linen jacket. What I love about cropped jackets um, is that they go well over dresses and they work well with pants outfits. So they're really, really versatile and they're um, they're just having a moment right now. And I think this is a, a great choice in linen and something to wear a lot. Okay, you also need a pair of wide leg linen pants for spring, summer. Like you can do a beach pant that's a little flowy and airy, or you can do a little bit more of a tailored linen pant, but a really comfortable linen pant that you can you can wear a variety of ways. This is part of a set, so does double duty as a part of an outfit and also as a, a standalone pair of pants. But I think linen pants are just uh, an absolute essential. Okay, I also think every single woman needs a long white linen or cotton gauzy button down shirt in her wardrobe to wear as a cover up. This is the cover up to take with you on beach vacations. You can wear it as a blouse. You can wear it um, as, a, as a dress depending on the length and you can definitely wear it as a cover up, but it's the most classic cover up. It's the most elegant cover up and I just think it's a must have. Um, and I love this one. This is um, the Heat Wave cover-up shirt dress from uh, Sea Level. It's available at Nordstrom. Again, everything is going to be linked below by number. I also think you need a pair. Now, I've been talking about you need a pair of neutral fashion sneakers for a long time, white or black, preferably white for spring, summer. But if you don't want, um, or if you've already got that box checked, then I would go for a colorful pair of sneakers as your next fashion sneaker choice. These are from Gola. These are really, really cool. Great yellow shade. That is a big, big color this season. And it's a great color to wear with, with all of your neutrals, especially with blues, and it just adds a pop of color and interest to your outfit. So a colorful fashion sneaker is the next item I think you should have on your list. Um, a shirt dress is, I just think, is such a great 
summertime staple you know i think it's one of the most classic shirt dresses i mean uh styles like you can see it in the 1940s and 50s in movies uh, movie stars wearing grace kelly wore them everyone wore shirt dresses in the 40s and 50s and it's just a timeless and universally flattering style of course you want to get the details right for your body but i think a shirt dress belongs at everyone's spring summer shopping list the next thing I want to talk about is a pair of woven shoes or sandals. This is a cool texture. It came, it really, it, it started coming into fashion or style last spring, summer. I love them. Um, brands like Cezanne, I've, I've done these very, very well. It's a very French, I saw this all over Europe. It's a very French inspired texture. It's a great summery texture and it's a great substitute for straw and raffia. Um, if you've got enough of those pieces and you're looking for something else, this is a beautiful woven um, Frankie walking sling back so these are like a really really comfortable pair and um there's there's a woven shoe for everybody and i think everyone deserves one um everyone needs a really really beautiful and flattering one-piece bathing suit there are times when either um you don't want to wear a bikini or maybe it doesn't feel right to wear a bikini in certain settings or you know for whatever reason you maybe you're going to do something and you don't want the bikini falling off i, I think everyone wants um and needs a great one-piece bathing suit this one is stunning um it's a uh, it's a slenderizing bathing suit and it's got this beautiful i mean a lot of slenderizing bathing suits look like they're slenderizing bathing suits this is just an elegant chic bathing suit love the effect um in the front there comes in a couple of different colors and it's just a beautiful stylish fashionable bathing suit that also happens to be very flattering it's actually from land's end um the sleeveless shirt style of the season is the vest. So in linen or in cotton, um, a sleeveless vest is a great um, a great investment or a great piece to bring into your spring summer wardrobe. You can wear it with shorts and jeans and everything. You can also wear it layered over flowy tops. Um, you can wear it as a, as a completer piece with dresses and wear it over tank tops. It's just a really cool um, and summery staple this season. I also feel like every woman be, uh, deserves a jumpsuit and I know jumpsuits are polarizing I know they're polarizing but you want a comfortable jumpsuit like if, if you don't love the way that your legs look then you want either a long dress or a jumpsuit so jumpsuit is an alternative to a dress it's one and done it looks polished it looks elegant it's also super super comfortable you just want one that you can slip in and out of easily to go to the bathroom right um I love this Blair jumpsuit I think this is super super cute um I think this is from Anthropology again everything's going to be linked below now, you know, I can't, I can't do a video without talking about a white flowy dress for spring, summer. I think you want a really pretty, really feminine white dress for spring, summer. And this one is just stunning. And it's actually a really good price point. It's like right around $100. It's not four or $500 like some of the ones I've been sharing are. It's a great price and it's a beautiful, beautiful feminine dress that you can wear to lots and lots of spring events. I just think, I just think it's an essential. Um, you want something with pearls in spring and summer because not only are they trending, but they're classic and I just love them. I'm doing a separate video on pearls with gingerberry, but I did want to share this beautiful ring. Look at this ring. I love it. So it, it you know, it's adjustable and it's got the two pearls and then it's open in the front. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So you want a modern way to wear pearls for spring, summer and, and gingerberry does pearls really, really well. So I've got a whole pearl video coming up, but definitely add pearls your spring summer shopping list love this um striped cardigan i feel like everyone needs needs a striped cotton version of the wool one we were wearing or a lighter um version for spring summer in the striped cardigan it's just an instant elevator it elevates all of your your neutral and solid pieces in your wardrobe and i just think it's super super chic I think we all need something crocheted in our wardrobes this season. And this is such a beautiful um, little crochet top. I think it's a great option. It's less than $25. So if you want to dabble in crochet without doing a deep dive into it, a little crochet top like this with a little flutter sleeve is a really, really pretty and versatile option for spring. Okay, I think everybody needs a pair of Mary Janes in their wardrobe. And if you already have a pair of Mary Janes, then you need another pair of Mary Janes. And these are super, super cute. These are the Connie Slingbacks from Naturalizer. They're really, really comfortable. They come in a couple of different colors, including silver. They are just beautiful and also really, really comfortable. So I think a pair of Mary Janes, it's the flat of the season. And I think it's worth considering if you like that style, as I do. And you want to wear Mary Janes in a sophisticated way because we don't want to look like schoolgirls in Mary Janes, right? But they're just so cool. And these don't have that sweetness. They're a little bit more modern a little bit more contemporary 
I think everyone needs a silver pair of shoes unless you don't wear silver. Um, maybe you've got warm coloring and you only wear gold, but if, you, if you're interested at all in, in doing um, a silver shoe this season, this is the season to do it. They go with everything. A metallic shoe goes with absolutely everything and silver is the metal of the season. Um, obviously I wear both, but silver is definitely having a moment. You want something with a polo collar this season. Now it can be a sweater, it can be a top, or it can be this really, really cute dress, this little rugby jersey dress. I think it's adorable. Um, it's one and done. It's an easy, comfortable piece. And so that polo collar kind of ties into that old money preppy thing that we've been seeing a lot of. I think everyone needs a cropped trench. I love, love, love my black cropped trench from Estier, um, but every brand has a version of a cropped trench. I think it's such a cool jacket. It goes great over dresses. It, it works well with jeans. It's just really, really versatile and a cool lightweight layering piece for spring, summer. You want a cool new pair of shades and new, new pair of sunglasses. I don't spend a lot on sunglasses because I break them, I sit on them, I lose them. I just, I'm not, I'm not that, that um, great about keeping track of my sunglasses, but I like having an inexpensive pair. This is from Le Specs. I also like a brand called Key. I'll have several of them linked below. These are in the $50, $60 range. You can even get them from places like H&M or whatever your favorite, you know, J. Crew Loft. Everyone has sunglasses. Just find a pair that fits you and looks great on. Um, I feel like you need a, a utility item in your wardrobe. So either a cargo, um, a pair of cargo pants, a cargo jacket, a utility jacket, or a utility dress like this beautiful olive dress. I think this is a great option as a utility piece for your wardrobe this season. So love this. Um, I think utility styles are happening everywhere and it's just a cool way to add a little interest and edge to your basics. Okay, the next thing everyone needs on their spring summer shopping list is a ballet flat. These have been trending for the last couple of years. It's a great, great summertime and springtime essential. I definitely like them in nude, but of course you can go with white or black um, or brown, whatever your, your favorite neutral is. Nude is really nice because it does lengthen your legs and it looks beautiful with summertime white. Okay, um, a ladylike tweed dress. Now, it seems weird to be suggesting tweed in spring, summer, but there are a lot of really pretty sleeveless and short-sleeved tweed-ish looking dresses for spring and summer, and I love them. I think they're so pretty. This one is for Millie. It has a little bit of fringe trim. It's lightweight. It's just a really, really pretty dress. It's a great dress for work or for church or for any events that you're going to this this season. You can dress it up, um, you know, for, you can make it like more evening friendly or you can make it it more business or business casual um, appropriate. So I love it. I also think a tipped or trimmed um, ladylike cardigan. Usually you'll see these in white and black or white and navy, but it's a cardigan usually in white with black or navy trim. I think this is an elegant and, and it's becoming a, a staple in our spring summer wardrobes. If you get one in a lightweight knit, this is a great option for spring summer and can really elevate your basic pieces. A short suit, like I, I, I've kind of alluded to this in a couple of my videos, but a suit that's like j a jacket and shorts, it's a great summertime um, alternative to a suit depending on your workplace. And it can also be great for events, for travel, because you've got those two pieces that go together and also go with other pieces in your wardrobe. I love this one in this beautiful blue shade from Veronica Beard. White tailored shorts, I think are a must have. I think everyone needs like if you're gonna have one pair of shorts in your wardrobe, well, besides maybe denim, which I'm getting to, but a white tailored pair of shorts is a great piece to have in your um, spring, summer wardrobe. You can wear all your pretty blouses with it. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Um, I think it's just an essential. Cap toe shoes, absolutely still happening. And I think they are a great piece to have in spring and summer as well, because they really can take all these basic, very, very casual spring, summer pieces that we're wearing and make them look a little bit more polished and a little bit dressier. So don't don't put your cap toe shoes away for spring, summer, keep them out. Um, now you can, they could be a flat, they could be a sling back, they're even backless versions. There's, there's a version for everybody out there. I even saw Veronica Beard even has a mule that's backless, that's cap toe, very, very cute. Statement earrings. So I'm wearing the, arguably the statement earrings of the season. These are a dupe on the Bottega Veneta ones. I got these at Marshall's, but I do have a pair linked from Amazon that's right around the same price, $12 or $13. But like that really oversized chunky gold earring is absolutely a major trend this season. So if you are looking for a new statement earring, something that can kind of dress up a lot of the clothes that you have in your wardrobe, these are so much fun and they're very, very affordable. Um, pop of color. Everyone needs, I think, something that, that will um, take them out of the, the minimal or all neutral patterns and habits that many of us fall into. So a pop of color this season, yellow, green, red, wine, pink, 
um, light blue. Those are all going to be great pops of color to bring into your wardrobe. We're seeing a lot of orange. Um, whatever that favorite color is for you, a statement color is for you, you want a pop of color in your wardrobe. I think this yellow dress just says it all. It's beautiful, it's fresh, it's fun, it's feminine, and it really gives your wardrobe a, just a mood boost, right? These are like dopamine colors for your wardrobe. Spring knit set or piece, something in a spring weight knit. Maybe it's a pointel, maybe it's a little crochet, maybe it's just a lightweight knit. I'm seeing a lot of spring knits. Um, so little knit sweaters, knit vests, knit sleeveless tops, knit sets, knit skirts, whatever you're looking for, there is a knit version of it for spring. And I think it's just so pretty and so feminine. Also lace, laces, absolutely. Again, these are like classics but they're also having a moment so lace is always trending it's always in style for spring summer but it's more so now and you know i how i feel about a lace blouse or a lace dress i feel like one does every woman deserves to have at least one in her wardrobe and they're so pretty they're so feminine and again they're, they're the types of pieces that you can dress up and um often dress down pretty easily maxi dress that is the this is the new midi dress and maxi is the new midi maxi is the new midi so maxi skirts instead of midi skirts um if you're buying something new and a maxi dress is a great option it's especially great for those of you who maybe don't love your legs and didn't ha lean heavily towards dresses in the past maxi dress is breezy and lightweight and comfortable it's a great alternative to jeans and shorts and definitely a great alternative to capris because it looks much more stylish um but it also gives you the coverage that you need and also the air conditioning because they're breezy so maxi dress i think is is a must have um i think you want something eyelet it's closely you know it's lace's cousin but i love eyelet i'm upset i'm obsessed with eyelet and you can do it in smaller doses or in bigger doses like i seen tops where it's just has a little bit of eyelet in the sleeve and I've seen full-on eyelet dresses and tops so whatever you're looking for um, a little bit of eyelet really adds a, a beautiful feminine touch to your spring wardrobe polka dots I'm so happy polka dots are back I, I, most of us if, if you love polka dots you've never stopped wearing them but they are absolutely 100% back in style and readily available I think this skirt is from H&M it's, it's a beautiful elegant neutral polka dot but you can do big or little polka dots you can do neutral or colorful polka dots just keep the pattern itself fairly simple and consistent if you want it to be the most modern polka dot pattern but I, I'm all about polka dots this season um, a pretty print. I've alluded to that in the blouse and the skirt, but you just need a printed piece. You need a printed piece. And if you've already checked the, the blouse and the dress in a print, consider a printed accessory like a bag or a shoe in a really pretty print. That can be a, just that piece that ties all of your basic and neutral outfits together. It can elevate everything in your spring summer wardrobe just to have a printed accessory, especially a printed shoe, because a shoe you don't take off, you don't you don't take off a shoe usually when you go places where sometimes you put your purse down, right? Um, okay, blue or blue and white. Again, this is a major color trend for this season, but obviously blue is never out of style, but we're seeing a lot of blue and a lot of blue and white worn together. And I think it's a beautiful and elegant and classic, and it's a color that works for everybody. So consider in injecting some blue and white into your wardrobe. If you don't already have it, you probably already have this hanging in your closet. Baseball cap is absolutely trendy. And I'm really, I'm feeling like I need to start thinking about a baseball cap. It'd be great to cover up when my grays are coming in or when, you know, my hair is getting a little poofy. Um, so baseball caps are absolutely having a moment as a cool, um, uh, like hat for spring and summer, as well as straw hats, which never go anywhere, but I think they're an absolute spring and summer essential. So you want a spring hat and maybe a straw and a baseball cap for different outfits. Um, chain necklace, chunky chain necklace. Um, I'm wearing my Dean Davidson one, but we're seeing a lot of really nice chunky chain necklaces. What's great about this one is you can wear it with or without the moonstone pendant. I love this, um, but we're seeing, we're seeing more substantial jewelry come back in. So the delicate pieces aren't gone, but they're really being joined by more substantial pieces like the earrings, like the necklace. I think we're seeing a lot of that for spring, summer. So you want a statement necklace and a statement pair of earrings. Again, they're instant updates for everything in your wardrobe. And then the final thing I wanna talk about is a denim skirt or shorts. So, you know, if, if you don't lean heavily towards jeans in spring, summer, because they're too, it's too hot, then shorts or a denim skirt can be a great option. You know, I've, I've been loving my Pippa denim skirt from Petite Studio. It is a long denim skirt, like midi denim skirt that is size for petites and it works beautifully. I love it. The slit also adds some really nice balance, but you could also do a great pair of medium length denim shorts. Um, these are from A Goldie. They're a, a really nice flattering fit and a great length for many of us. And so you want a pair of either shorts or a skirt depending on your preference 
difference in your lifestyle that you can use as a substitute for your jeans in spring and summer. So that was a lot, 50 items. I knew it was gonna be a lot of items, but 50 items, I got through them as quickly as I could. Which of these items is on your spring summer shopping list? I definitely would encourage you to check out both the description box and the catalog that's in the description box for all of these items, plus alternatives in different price points for every single item on this list. So the catalog is pretty extensive. It's got you know a low, medium, higher priced item, as well as a variety of styles, variety of retailers, um, some international places to shop. Like there's something for everybody in that catalog. So definitely check that out in the description box below. If you are interested in um, getting my spring style guide I that I just created, I, I created it for my Closet Confidence ladies. And if you missed the Closet Confidence workshop series, I do have another one coming up. So stay tuned here for the announcement of, the, of that date. I believe it's going to be May 13th. But I created a spring style guide for the Closet Confidence ladies. And I would love to share that with you. So if you're interested in the spring style guide, comment spring below and I will get you the link to the style guide because I think it's something that I think it's something that we should all um, use to really build our wardrobes. As, as much as I like to share these exhaustive and long shopping lists with you, I really want you to plan your spring and summer wardrobe so that you get the most mileage out of what you already own and you're able to bring in pieces into your wardrobe that are really going to work with what you have and serve you well for a long time to come. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, don't forget to comment. Let me know which of these items is on your spring shopping list and comment spring for that spring style guide. Love you guys.